companies from Taiwan. So first thing is I'm going to turn on the new candle. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Everybody thinks that's a tablet. It's a scale. <laughs> the new Kindle, right? Nice. This is very light. It's 20 euros, which is about 500 grams. Okay. We need this battery. Here we go. So, what I'm going to do first? Well, I'm on, I'm on a Divex screen, so let's let's go and play some Divex. Trying to grab a pick. So here's the point: is you can actually take all of the collection of things you have at home that you you have, you know, you. Movies and you can play them. There's no issue whatsoever. It's just the way it used to be. Then I can go desktop. You know, I can do the thing. I can go and do some web browsing, and you can see the web browsing is rock and roll like. You know, the speed is just insane. Is, is that the Metro IE 10? This is Metro IE 10. How did, does the can you open the desktop version on there, or does it work just as well? Good question. Connected and well, same thing. Cool. Same do. No, no commercial. No. <laughs> but yeah, there's no problem as well. It's, uh, you know, it's, so you have all of this on this one. You have flash. You have uh, you know all of these things working beautifully the way you used to, to have it. Uh, and you know the curated content is pretty cool as well. I'm going to let it load it. There we go. And then I can go. Again, this is an atom. You see how instantaneously playback the video. Uh, this is going to be hard to do better, but we did. <laughs> nice. So that I know you guys are going to like this one. So this is Corvus Tablet Score i3. Uh, first, you notice the screen. So if, you, if you come close, you're going to see the screen is really, really good. The viewing angle is amazing. The pixel sharpness is unbeatable. You know, because we don't have two small but small enough pixels, they are very sharp, you have good contrast ratio. If, if the screen is black, you don't have white leakage on the side. Uh, it's, it's really a really good screen. Then I type my pin code with the keyboard because I can. Uh, and then you have something that works pretty well. So now we're going to go here. I can do it this way. Okay. All good. We're browsing, same thing. Then there's a little difference. How much storage you have in your tablet right now? 16 gigs. 1632, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's more. <laughs> I have one tera just right on this one. With a two Intel SSD or you know, 600 gig into the thing in RAID. So I can basically keep one terabyte almost not used. Okay. Now if I take the movie and I copy it, it's going to copy it at USB speed, USB 3 speed. So if I want to fill my local storage, which is 64 gig in the tablet, it would take a few seconds to fill the whole thing with movies. So you don't have to worry how long I'm going to have to synchronize my thing to get my movie into my tablet. You also go immediately. And it's connected. Here we go. So now let's go back to gaming. This one. Here we go. So now look at the smoothness of the thing and the sharpness of the screen. It's a beautiful display. Yeah. This is Ivy. This is Ivy Bridge. Ivy Bridge. Yeah. Core i3. Core i3 here. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I, I think I've already killed everybody, so... Uh, let's find, find some more enemies. Right, let's piss off some people. Uh, you know. But, basically, you got the idea. It's super smooth. I can... Yeah. So, here what you have is you have an Ultrabook. This is actually a few gram lighter than one kilogram. I'm going to let you hold it later on. And, uh, basically, I'm going to start looking. So, you saw the... The, the finger gesture was, was really smooth. So I have desktop, I have see the light touch. I don't have to push like a madman the tuning. So here we spend a lot of time with the Taiwanese to make sure that 
all of the responsiveness, so the latencies, everything, you know, we have a, in our lab, we, we actually experimented how fast it has to be so that humans feel good. So we went to Taiwan and we showed all those people what we think should be, then we, they, they implemented it, then they told us, yes, you're right, it feels really good. And we basically have a spinning loop right now with, with Taiwan where we, we help them. So here, very quickly, I'm going to go to desktop mode. Oh, there you go. I'm going to start playing first a video. Look at the screen. <laughs> So you, you agree it's a good screen, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. What's the resolution on it again? So that's the surprising part. Ah. It's 13 by 7. Okay. Which is counterintuitive because you were brainwashed to believe that you have to go super high depth to do good resolution. You don't have to. And enough of this, oh, here we go. Then if I open Outlook, uh, I have my demo here. Huh? I'm all ready to go to present you the next uh, topic later on, which is uh, we're going to make you use this tablet, this, sorry, this Ultrabook. Ultrabook. And, uh, but you see all of the gesture works properly in Outlook. And, little detail, it's Outlook 2010. So if your IT, for example, requires you to be on a certain version of Outlook, and that happened a lot, uh, you still have your full compatibility with whatever you want it to have. Uh,